All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation. And in today's video, we have a brand new metal being introduced to the game. Now, this is taken from the GP version of the game. Uh, so we'll be looking at some of the you know, Google Translate translations, although they're fairly easy to discern, so it shouldn't be a problem. But without further ado, uh, just like with the last video, a lot of you seem to have liked the little uh, little thing, the little graphic that I have down here that shows you the, the progress of the different sections of the video and when I'm about to talk about a different portion of the video and stuff. A lot of you seem to have liked that, so I'm going to continue doing that. Uh, I'll try and uh, make it look better uh, as time goes on whenever I have time to update it and such. But yeah, you guys seem to have liked that. Uh, so first up, just like with last time, we'll, we'll do in the same order. I'll start off talking about the actual metal description itself as well as, well as what type of banner that we're getting. Uh, we only, we're looking at the JP banner right now, so it's not, you know, 100% confirmed. It's going to be the same in global, but most often than not, it tends to be almost exactly the same. So in terms of the banner, we're getting uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra North, newest metal in the game. Uh, Supernova Plus Plus, by the way, just like with the Kingdom, uh, Chain of Memory Sora that we got like a week ago or something. Uh, but we have for the free to play banner, you get one speed gem and it is a 10 mercy pull. Thankfully, it is not one of those random mercy pulls. Those are the devil. <laughs> And then for the VIP deal, you get three speed gems, three or 30 uh, VIP coins as well. It becomes a five mercy pool instead. Okay, again, much better than 10 mercy. Uh, it's half the jewels. Anyways, okay, that's it in terms of the actual banner itself. This is what the metal looks like. Uh, it's worth noting as well, I, I didn't realize it last time, but uh, it is worth noting that they from now on they're making it so that all supernova plus plus metals will have the uh the mastery mechanic that's what it's called in global i believe uh the master mechanic it's called weakness layer in the translation right here but the all su supernova plus plus metals will have the master mechanic which makes that attack do even more damage to no than normal against attributes that it's super effective against okay so all supernova plus plus metals will have that mechanic now whether or not it's only going to be exclusively tied to the supernova knight is yet has yet to be seen uh personally it the fact that so far between the two supernova plus plus metals we've gotten so far only have uh the mastery tied to their supernova is kind of not that great in my opinion but i'll get that to get to that later Anyways, this is what the metal looks like in terms of what it does. To be honest, it's basically almost literally just a reverse version of Chain of Memory Sora that we had last week. Uh, but for those of you who don't know what that does, I'll quickly go over its description. So it has a maximum attack power, including, you know, chips and dales and stuff of uh, about 39,000. All right. Just as a reminder, Supernova Plus Plus metals can have up to plus 5,000 chips and dales compared to a normal supernova plus metal that can only have plus up to 3,000 chips and dales. So that's worth noting. Uh, it is an AOE metal for one turn. It raises the reverse metal strength by plus 2,000. It also uh, increases the reverse general attack and speed strength, my bad. Reverse strength, general strength, and speed strength by 10 tiers. Lowers the enemy's general defense and speed defense by 10 tiers. Increases guilt buff by 200%. And does more damage the more abilities that have been activated that turn. As well as does 7 hits. Uh, costs 2 gauges. Is a tier 10 metal. Has a damage multiplier of a 75.35 to a 82.41. Supernova has the mastery mechanic as well as uh, increases reverse metal strength by plus 5,000, uh, as well as buffs your general attack, general defense, and speed attack. Oh, my bad, I keep saying attack. Uh, <laughs> general strength, general defense, speed strength, and magic defense by 10 tiers, as well as lowers the enemy's general strength, general defense, speed 
what is that attack i think magic at a uh, strength uh by 10 tiers that's actually kind of interesting uh it r increases your guilt buff by 280 percent and activates before the third slot in pvp and has a times 220 damage multiplier for the supernova okay so that's what they do now in terms of whether or not they're actually good or not pretty much to be honest what i have to say about kingdom hearts 3 terranor is almost exactly the same as chain of memory sora um in terms of the fact that it's a really good battle basically all in all it's almost like a it's basically just a over glorified damage metal to be honest um yeah that's basically the best way to put it it's just a, it's just an over glorified damage metal uh it's only the only reason why it's going to be meta for right now is because the fact it just has higher strength it has an extra 2000 strength compared to the other tier 10 supernova plus metals because of the recent uh chips and dales buff it only has an extra 2000 strength so it's not that it's really not that much of a difference you're not gonna really see it uh you're not gonna see that difference that that well against any of the harder difficulty quests and such you're not gonna really notice that uh it does have one of the highest multipliers in the game though so that is worth noting it is at a 82.41 although the damage condition is worse and then chain of memory sword because kingdom Hearts 3 terror needs uh does more damage with the more abilities activated in that turn whereas chain of memory sora uh does more damage to higher hp so with sora you're guaranteed to hit the high end of the multiplier almost every single time whereas with terranoid you kind of have to use it in like towards the back end of your keyblade the last few slots in order to actually get the most damage out of him so that's worth noting uh the in terms of uh Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, it is worth noting too, though, that it is spef specifically for reverse, kind of like with Chainer Memory Sora, where it only affected upright metals in terms of the metal strength buff. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Three Terra only affects reverse metals. This is important because of the fact and the fact that it's a speed reverse metal. This is worth noting because of the fact that, to be honest, most of the Keyblades in the game do not have speed reverse slots. Um, and it's also worth noting too that at least in the current state of the game uh, Most Keyblades can't even utilize a reverse setup. Okay, if we're to take a look at the Keyblades right now The only way that you can actually make use of a reverse setup for speed speed reverse specifically in the game right now is if we had enough supernova plus copy metals to actually make that possible but because of the fact there's only really like what four four supernova plus metals uh copy metals in the game at the moment that aren't the correct attributes to actually make that possible there's only like three keyblades in the game they can actually use a reverse strategy which is the actual reverse keyblades themselves missing ache uh diamond dust and who are you? Dark Null. Okay. These are only like three Keyblades that can actually use, utilize a full reverse strategy because they force you to use reverse metals for the setup. Uh, you can't really use it for Keyblades such as Stroke and Midnight, for instance, because of the fact that we don't have any magic upright Supernova Plus copy metals yet in the game. In order to utilize a reverse strategy for Stroke and Midnight, we have to have magic upright supernova plus copy metals uh in today's uh meta and stuff using the old copy metals won't really work in terms of damage anymore uh they're purely there now these days just for like basically slots one and two if you need them in terms of copying like a buffer meta or something okay so you kind of have to use the supernova plus copy metals uh and we don't have any magic upright yet so you can't use a reverse strategy yet on stroke of midnight uh which is one of the few keyblades to have a speed reverse slot even keyblades such as like uh where is it divine rose can't utilize a reverse setup setup either uh simply for the same reason no magic upright copy metals that are supernova plus you could do it for lady luck although the problem is is the fact that 
or no, yeah, you could do it. There's, there is a way to make use of it on Lady Luck, although what you would do instead is that it would have to be more of a speed setup rather than specifically a reverse setup. Okay, in which case you can use metals such as uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Ventus, the, uh, what is this one called again? Supernova, Kira 21, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Shion B. You can use those type of upright metals in the upright slots, speed upright slots, because of the fact that they only provide either a general metal strength buffs or they provide speed metal strength buffs. So you turn it more into a speed setup compared to a, uh, a reverse setup. The only thing you would need to keep in mind though is that towards the end of the Keyblade where you start reaching the other speed reverse slots, okay, such as fifth slot and the Lady Luck, you would want to make your last few actual metals be reverse metals so they can actually take advantage of the reverse buffs from uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Terranoid, Terranor. That's the only thing you would have to keep in mind. Okay, so you can make full use of it. The reason why we can't really use, the reason why we can't really just th chuck in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Terranor and Keyblades like Stroke and Mana, just chuck it in on the third slot and just let the, the reverse slots take advantage of it. The, only, the reason why we, why we can't do that is because of the fact that you want to have as much of your buffs on your Keyblade affect as many of your metals as possible. So although yes, technically you could just chuck in Kingdom Hearts 3 Terranor right here and then maybe just have a random uh, power reverse metal here as well. I don't know. We'll chuck you in there, okay? Have a random power reverse metal, then another reverse metal in the in the pet slot, uh, and then some random magic upright metal here as well in the four slot. Although yes, technically you could do this. The fact that the four slot won't be taking advantage of the reverse buffs means that overall your out your damage output for your keyblade is going to be less compared to other keyblades. Okay, it's not going to be maximized. It's not going to be ideal compared to other keyblades. So that's that's kind of what I'm trying to point out here. All right, so realistically, at the current point in the game, there's only three Keyblades you can actually more or less effectively use a reverse strategy on uh, for Kingdom Hearts 3 Terranort, and that is uh, Dark Gnaw, Missing Ache, and Diamond Dust, the actual reverse Keyblades. So in terms of actual usability and viability, there's not really that many instances where you're going to actually want to use this in the first place. So compared to Chain of Memory Sora, who is speed upright, there's a ton more speed upright slots in the game who can actually utilize this upright setup too in, in that aspect. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Terranor is the exact opposite, where he's barely going to be used at all whatsoever, um, even though he's a really good metal. So in terms that, so that kind of helps segue into whether or not you should actually pull for this metal. Realistically, probably not. The only reason you should even probably consider pulling for this metal is if you really like using reverse setups uh, or you like really specifically use those reverse keyblades for instance. That'd be the only reason you would want to actually pull for this metal, otherwise you can pretty much just skip this metal. Even though it's a really good metal, you're not going to really be able to use it properly uh, for the majority aspects. So it's, a, it's kind of an easy skip. but. Yeah, uh, last thing to worth noting as well, there's only, there's only two actual, like, metals in the game now with the introduction of Kingdom Hearts 3 Terranoid that actually provide, uh, metal strength buffs as well, which is Kingdom Hearts 3 Terranoid himself and the, uh, Lark Scene metal, Supernova Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Lark Scene that we got somewhere recently. These are the only two metals in the game that actually buff metal strength. Uh, that are speed reverse metals, so that's worth noting. So if you if you like using Missing Egg, for example, uh, and you, you just need more speed reverse metals that buff metal strength, this is an option. And then as well as the fact if you have the Kinema 3 Lux Sword, the image isn't here yet on Cox Tracker, uh, you can easily have a full Missing Egg set up at this point, finally. Uh, with the introduction of Terranort. So you could have like Terranort right here in slot 4, Luxword copying Terranort, or even backwards, whatever. You have these three speed reverse metals that you can effectively, that are all Supernova Plus or Plus Plus, 
provide uh, metal strength so that way you can actually carry it through the entire Keyblade. So that's the only thing worth noting. Now with this new, with Terranar, you can actually use it for the entire Keyblade. And then for the second slot, you would just throw in, like I mentioned previously, uh, because of the, well, it's gonna be slightly different because of the fact that it's actually going to be a reverse setup, you would probably want to use Keyheart 21. Uh, preferably compared to anything else because Shionbi and Ventus do speed metal strength compared to just general metal strength so that's worth noting uh, specifically because if you want to use like a magic reverse or power reverse metal in your pet slot for instance using Shionbi or Ventus is not going to actually let that pet slot take advantage of those buffs if you're not using speed so just throwing that out there but other than that that was it for today guys not really much uh else to talk about fairly straightforward uh, great metal just not very usable so you don't really need to pull for it at all whatsoever uh go ahead and let me know what your guys thoughts and opinions are about the metal in the comment section down below if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button it's the best way i know when i upload more videos such as this one my name is brian from khox nation and i will see you guys in the next video peace guys